Joining us now, radio talk show hosts from both ends of the political spectrum, Stephanie Miller and Ben Ferguson. Steph ben, how, how, can the re how can the Republicans be obstructionists when you don't need any of their votes to get what the White House wants passed? Pass. The White House could have passed health care reform without any Republicans showing up. They blocked right, but, the Republicans. Ben, they didn't the meet with the Republicans. Stephanie's getting at, I think the point is that Republicans march much more in lockstep than the Democrats. The Democrats have people from all over the, the spectrum, including several centrist Democrats, who a lot of Democrats say sometimes act more like moderate, like moderate Republicans, and, and that's the argument. Well, I, I mean, I disagree. Look at John McCain. He's not a lockstep Republican by any means. I wasn't excited about him being the candidate. Now he's got his own problems in Arizona in that race there. But the reality is right now, the President of the United States of America has got approval rating under 50 percent. Barbara Boxer is having problems in her own state, only up by four points where she should be a shoe in And you've got places like Ted Kennedy's old seat that went Republican. They've got problems because right. they've shut the Republicans out, not the other way around. No, I'll tell you why we're having trouble. is because we need more Democrats like Barbara Boxer. That, that's the problem is, you know, when hey, I hear, you, I want to scream, David, when my, I hear people say, oh, you know, it's because we've gone too far left. We have not gone far left enough. The American people were hugely behind health care reform with a public option a year ago. Uh, I, I actually you're, agree you're, that, that we have bungled this. Look at the this. polls now. When the, American, when the American people got to look at the polls now, the latest NBC Wall Street Journal poll says that 17 percent, more than 17 percent of Americans over the top are saying absolutely not to health care reform. But Ben. David, at we'll some point word. in the near in the in the near future, I hope that the Democrats actually start admitting that they're in charge, that their president's actually president, instead of blaming George Bush. Because as long as they keep saying it's all that guy's fault and the Republicans aren't doing anything when they have no power right now, they're going to keep losing elections in Democrat states, which is fine with me. Well, Ben, I, I think the point that you're getting at is I think a lot of Democrats do believe that um, that this White House has gone too far to try to reach bipartisanship. That results are what matters, and right now they don't have the results that Democrats need. Stephanie Miller, great to see you as always. Thank you. Ben Ferguson, pleasure to have you on as well. Thank you both very much.